So today we're gonna get into level streaming. So basically, what is level streaming, right? You have the main map in a video game, right? You have the main map and you have like little houses. Right? Whenever you walk into the house, it's going to unload the big main map, right? And it's going to load the inside of the house. So that's how you save resources and uh, all that kind of stuff so today we're gonna get into it but first things first what i would do is create a new level and create an empty level right and this will be your main level this main whatever right? you can add like lights you can add uh, whatever you want now let's go to window and open up levels and you can see we have levels make it current it should be current uh, by default but just go right click it and make it current so this level is your current level and stuff. So now uh, let's save this level. So control S and create a folder called maps. And this will be just the main or you can call it. You can call it persistent level or whatever. And now we're going to have a new level, a basic level. So just have that so like this and save this level as well as the main level or the main map or whatever uh, you desire. Now go to levels add a new one add an existing one the main level okay it doesn't work so you have to go in go into the persistent level then add an existing one to be the main map bam and as you can see it just loaded and you can see these eyes if you close the main map bam just disappears close the persistent nothing uh, happens so now every every light source that you have in the map you're basically going to put it into the persistent level so we're gonna do a copy or control x going to the persistent one bam just click double click on that so I just paste that into the persistent one It'll look like this and uh, if you're unsure that's in the persistent just click on something and that should be persistent level and uh, persistent so now open the main and delete everything that's in the main except the floor okay did not work uh, <laughs> how the fuck did i fuck it up oh, no. so now if you close the persistent up you can see uh, lights just disappear except the floor and if you do this one you can see it should look like this so it's uh, very organized i guess you could say so now we're gonna have another map another one i know it's crazy just duplicate the main level <laughs> and let's call this how a uh, sub level it's like that sub level so it's basically the same level as the main map but it's going to be a little bit different so again add the existing one it's going to be a sub level now you can see we have two floors this one is sub level if you just double click on it or just find you can see this is the oh no this is the sub level this is the main map click on the sub level and just drag it out right here so now we're gonna just showcase how it works clear if you have a door right and real quick i'm just gonna change for example you have a door and you want to walk into the house or something like that so once again we're gonna add a trigger box right? we're gonna add a trigger box so to the main level just double click on that and add a trigger box and plug it in right there. so whenever you walk in it's going to trigger it right just like that now open up the main level right click on it once again go to collisions and begin overlap so we're gonna do cast to first person and we are going to do get camera manager and let's do a camera fade so start camera fade this will have a little fade what will be really really cool a lot of games use this so from alpha zero to alpha one so basically that's the opacity by the way and duration i would like to put it to two that's good amount hold when finished after that we are going to do load stream level by object reference and it's going to load the sub level make it visible and that's all you can add for example a component that like stops your movement or stops your input uh basically to do that we can get uh get characters movement component this one and we can do stop movement immediately oh no we can do disable movement just like that it's basically going to disable the movement and stuff compile you can see so that's going to work like that and for the begin play we're going to do a delay of two seconds we are going to unload this is just for safety unload the sub level uh, unload the sub level and once again we're going to do this one 
except it's going to do from 1 to 0 duration 1.5. Uh, it's going to give you a cool effect when this loads basically. Uh, you will see it. So if now, if we play, you can see it give, uh, gave you a cool little like fade effect. And when you walk in, you can see now it's basically black because uh, it didn't uh, it didn't work because we didn't set anything any logic to the sub level. So open the sub level up. On the begin play, let's have a delay and let's do unload stream, uh, stream level and that's gonna be the main level. Main level, once again, camera manager and let's do a fade, start camera fade. This one will be from 1 to 0, duration 2 or 1.5, it's up to you, all been finished, just like this. So if we play, so if we play you can see the door, walk in, bam. We almost fell off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some tweaks. So double click on the sub level and let's move it somewhere right there. So it's right there. Or you can move it like this probably. Quite up to you. You have to go back. So you have to put this disable moment before the camera fade and after it completes set movement, set movement mode back uh to walking just like that so now if we try to play it should work perfectly fine so we walk in and bam get into the level we can walk around and we can do whatever we basically want we cannot go back but going back is the same thing as the main level so you just do the same thing except uh, you load the main map unload the sub level it's the same shit. It's literally the same.